Hi everyone, today we'll be reviewing the Philips All-in-One 8000 series garment steamer and I must say it is a welcome addition to my home. I've tried all sorts of ironing systems but nothing comes close to simplicity and ease of use. From the Laura Star ironing system to Telfast high pressure penetrating steam systems, I've tried them all. I really don't like ironing. But the Philips All-in-One 8000 series makes quick work of creases to get you ready to head out of the home. The Philips All-in-One 8000 series comes in a relatively large box, clad in purple, with features fully displayed. Opening it up, you should find the whole unit in various segments. Firstly, in a small package, you find the glove, along with the usual documentation and manual. Next, we have the side docking attachment for the steamer head. Following that, the extendable poles. Next will be the board, which comes in two parts to be attached together. And finally, the main base unit, which has the steamer head attached. That's it for the unboxing. Retailing at $515, the Philips AIO 8000 series system is an ironing board and garment steamer all in one. It is a sizable investment, but if it cuts down my overall ironing time, it is definitely money well spent. Let's talk about the steamer first. It is an upright steamer with a water tank at the bottom. The integrated ironing board can be adjusted and used as in a variety of angles. Setup was pretty easy. I just had to follow along the visual guide on the box itself and clip the various components into place. The fully assembled system doesn't take up that much space since it was tall rather than horizontal long like traditional ironing boards. There's a holder by the side where the steamer head can be stored. There is also a hook at the top to put a hanger so that clothes can be steamed while hung up. I actually found myself steaming the shirts this way since it was more convenient. The steamer has six levels of steaming, five modes and an eco mode, and it also has continuous steam function. The system takes about 90 seconds to be ready for use, which is pretty fast. The board size is about 41.2 by 78.9 by 5.2 cm. The 2 liter water tank is pretty large. I only needed to refill once during my long ironing session, which is better than most ironing systems out there in the market. Once the power light is solid, you just need to press the trigger to start. Eco mode uses the least amount of steam, whilst the rest of the five modes vary in the amount of steam. There is also continuous steam mode for longer ironing sessions. The iron head features what Philips calls optimal temperature technology, which promises no burns on any ironable fabric. I found when the board was in a vertical position, you could actually apply pressure whilst you apply the steam, which actually did help in the overall ironing process. I typically wear a lot of cotton and chinos. Steamers usually don't do as well with these type of fabrics, but I was pleasantly surprised with the Philips AI O8000 series system. If you're looking for a sharp look that regular iron provides, then this garment steamer is definitely not for you. But if you wear softer fabrics, cotton in my case, it actually is quite decent. The steamer effectively removes creases and wrinkles. Here are two photos, before and after of a cotton shirt and t-shirt. Despite plenty of creases and wrinkles, the Philips AIO 8000 series garment steamer was able to remove most of it. When it comes to trousers, you won't be able to achieve that sharp crease that you can get from traditional iron press. But you can actually press the steamer head against the backboard and big creases and wrinkles were easily steamed away. So what do I think of the Philips All-in-One 8000 series? It ticks all my boxes in terms of speed, convenience and ease of use. The garment steamer comes with a single glove, which I was wondering why, but it actually does provide you with much needed protection when you're holding on to the clothes and doing the steaming. It did provide good resistance, but after prolonged use, it does get a little bit stuffy, so just have to take note of that. At $515, the Philips All-in-One 8000 series garment steamer is a bit expensive, but the ease of use, precision and powerful steams that it generates really makes ironing a breeze. So, I hope you liked our review of the Philips All-in-One 8000 Garment Series. Feel free to check out our other reviews on the homeground.asia and do remember to like and subscribe to this channel.